Dr. Philip o Ovadia, a cardiothoracic surgeon, would beg to differ. Carnivore diet will raise one's LDL, but it's nuanced. You need to consider the big picture, like the type of LDL, the HDL, triglyceride level, ApoB, LipoA, blah, blah, blah. So first of all, no. You do not need to consider the bigger picture at all. Dr. Philip Ovadia is a well-known online grifter that sells like metabolic keto coaching when you can just eat fat and you don't need coaching. Um, none of that stuff actually matters. The triglyceride to HDL ratio doesn't matter, whether it's LDL types of LDLs, how big or small they are, pattern A, pattern B, none of that actually matters. What actually matters is basically only your LDL level. Now you also mentioned ApoB and lipoprotein A. Yes, those matter in different ways. Lipoprotein A is a genetic thing that about 20 to maybe 30% of people have, which we do check. ApoB is a different way of measuring uh, uh, the cholesterol particles, the, the, the atherogenic particles, and you can watch my videos on that. We've talked about that extensively. But this is a false statement by this cardiothoracic surgeon. He is not a lipidologist, he's not a cardiologist, he has no idea what he's saying. I've watched several of his videos and he demonstrates a very severe lack of understanding of lipidology and cholesterol metabolism and how it even works or does anything. So I don't think you should consider him an expert of any kind uh, when it comes to lipids and lipidology. Follow people like Dr. David, um, Dr. Thomas Dayspring, myself, we wrote the book on lipidology. You can go look it up on Amazon. It's called Cholesterol Truths. If you're on my email list, you actually get a $50 off coupon. Um, but either way, um, that is not a reliable source and I would discount anything he says or anything that anybody called carnivore says.